Hello, Year 2. How are you? Welcome to today's maths lesson. How did you get on yesterday? Can you remember from the last two lessons what the word equal means? Yes, that's right. It, it means the same, doesn't it? So yesterday we were making equal groups. So we were making sure that there was the same amount in each group. Now today we're going to be looking at adding these equal groups. So we're going to to be writing number sentences to find out the total. But before we do that, let's do our warm up activity. Now, here's your flashback. So you'll recognize this from class. We've done these quite a lot. There's four questions. In the first question, you need to count the money on each side and decide if you need the less than, the more than, or the equals to sign. Now in the second one, you need to find the difference. So a mango is 87 pence and a banana is 33 pence. Now, if we're finding the difference, are we going to use an addition number sentence or a subtraction number sentence? Now in number three, you've got 43 minus eight. Now, are we going to need to exchange for this question if we use column subtraction? You'll have to find out. And in number four, we've got 50 subtract 10. Now, if we're subtracting 10, are the ones digits going to change or is the tens digit going to change? OK, pause the video and have a go. OK, shall we see if you were right? Let's look at the first question. On the left hand side, we have a five pound note, a two pound note and a one pound note. What is the total? Yes, that's right, it's eight pounds, isn't it? And on the right, we have a five pound note and three one pound coins. So what's the total there? Yes, that's right, it's eight pounds as well, isn't it? So do we need the less than, the more than, or the equals to sign? That's right, we need the equals to sign because there is the same amount on each side. Now let's look at number two. If you thought that you had to use subtraction to find the difference, then you were correct. Let's use our column subtraction. So let's start with the ones, set subtract three, which is four, and then subtract the tens. So eight subtract three is five. So the answer is 54 pence. The difference between a mango and a banana is 54 pence. Now let's look at number three. 43 subtract eight. Now, if we're going to subtract the ones, so we're doing three subtract eight, can we do that without exchanging? No, we can't, can we? So the answer is 35. Well done if you got that right. Now the next one, number four, 50 subtract 10. Now, if we're subtracting a 10, is the ones digit going to change or is the tens digit going to change? Yes, that's right. The tens digit changes, doesn't it? Not the ones digit. So 50 subtract 10 is 40. Brilliant if you got all those right. Well done. Let's move on to today's learning. So here we have some socks, some groups of socks. How many groups do we have? Let's count. We have one, two, three. We have three groups of socks. And how many are in each group? Well, there's two in the first group. And because they're equal groups, we then know that there'll be two in each group. So there are three equal groups of two. Now, if we were going to write a number sentence for this, what would it be? Because we've got three equal groups of two. So that means we're going to have to add two three times, aren't we? So we're going to do two, add two, add two. Now, what's the answer to that? Let's use our number line to help us. So first, let's add a two, then the second two, then the second two. Yes, the answer's six, isn't it? Fantastic if you got that right. Well done. 
Now this time, we've got some tricycles and we need to work out the total number of wheels. Now, how many wheels are in each tricycle? Yes, that's right. There's three wheels on each tricycle. And how many tricycles are there? Yes, there's four, aren't there? Four tricycles with three wheels on each. So let's complete this sentence. There are how many equal groups and how many are there in each group? Pause the video and have a go. OK, let's see if you were correct. So there are one, two, three, four tricycles. So there's four groups and they're equal. So if we know that there are three wheels on one, there's going to be three wheels on each tricycle. So therefore, there are four equal groups of three. Now, what would the number sentence be for this if we've got four equal groups of three? Pause the video and see if you can have a go yourself. OK, should we see if you are correct? So we are going to need to add three four times. Three plus three plus three plus three, which is 12. Fantastic, well done. Now, with the next one, we need to count how many fingers there are in total. OK, so how many equal groups are there? Or how many hands are there? There's one, two, three, four hands. So there's four equal groups. Now, how many are on each hand? Well, we know that there's five, isn't there? So we've got four equal groups of five. Now, can you write your number sentence for these equal groups? And Use the hundred square to help. Remember, we have one of these in class. OK, so pause the video now and have a go. OK, let's work together to see if we were right now. We would do five because there's four equal groups of five. We need to add five four times. So five plus five plus five plus five. Do you know the answer to that? Let's use our hundred square to help. So we've got five plus five, five which is ten. Now we need to add five again. That will make three fives, which is fifteen, and four fives, which is twenty. So the answer is twenty. There are twenty fingers all together. Well done if you got that right. Fantastic. Now, what I want you to do now is pause the video and have a go at questions one and two on the worksheet, which is called Year Two Maths, 8th of January, Resource One. Have a go at questions one and two. Okay, good luck.